Hey guys, welcome to another radio related video and this is of course another review of a little receiver that's a sub $20 receiver or almost I think with shipping and everything is like $21 that I paid. Um, this is the Degen DE321 portable shortwave radio. So this is another one of its kind and it's very peculiar. This receiver is quite special in its way of tuning. This is an analog tuned radio with a digital signal processing chip. So it's kind of an analog to digital type conversion that's going on here. And so it's very cheap at 20 bucks uh, you know you had to I had to actually get it and try it out because I was really really surprised basically you get your front panel that is the analog tuning with the little dot here and so here and on the right side you've got your tuning control to actually tune You've got at the top here the band switch, so it lets you switch between eight shortwave bands that cover most part of the international uh, broadcast bands. And what's also cool is that they are wide enough that in most cases they uh, include the out-of-band stations that you might want to listen to. Because uh, it's kind of important, lots of stations today are out-of-band and you don't want to miss out on some of those uh, stations. And so on the left side, you've got the little on off switch right here. You've got here the power adapter plug right here. No power adapter included. And you've got the little earphone jack here. Stereo FM through the earphone, of course. On the right side of the radio, you've got your tuning dial on the top and the volume control at the bottom. Band switch, of course, on the top of the radio. And on the back, well, you got that little lid here to keep it at an angle, and that little telescopic antenna. The receiver works on two AAA batteries, and uh, you get kind of a lot of uh, juice for two AAA batteries with this radio. It works uh, many, many, many hours, so it's pretty nice. Now, for the uh, reception of the station, uh, FM is nice and audio is quite beautiful on FM. I must say I'm amazed at uh, how this little speaker can really deliver powerful and very beautiful audio. And of course it's even better if you put earphones because it's stereo. In the reception of FM it's an okay performer, nothing special, it's not a DX machine but it's, it does the job and will bring in most stations. It does overload with strong FM signals so you gotta be careful but it does the job. In medium wave it's an okay performer but has the same drawback that I'll explain in short wave is that it's sensitive enough to bring out most short wave broadcasts that you'll receive on your radio. But the fact that it's a mix between analog and digital makes the tuning around on the bands a little touchy so it's kind of difficult to get those stations and try to find the ones you want to listen to but another drawback with this radio is the fact that not only is it touchy to tune around but because of the digital signal processing and the fact that you have no control over it signals tend to fade in and out in an awkward way so if you tune around a strong signal if the signal stays strong, you won't have any problem with the audio. But if your signal fades in and out, the digital chip actually will kind of cut out or put back in the signal you're listening to. And it makes a very awkward listening uh, because from one time you can uh, actually listen to a station strongly, you can hear what it's saying, and suddenly because of fade out, it just drops out. It's not just weaker, it drops out completely. And will actually come back when the signal will actually come 
uh, a little stronger. So it's really awkward in the way that it uh, receives and you really need to get some used to it. Another drawback is the DSP um, unit, chip unit that they've used in here. It's a programmable, programmable DSP, but of course at $20, you've got no control over it. They just put it there and <clears throat> make it doing its job uh, with preset settings. The problem with that is that the settings that they've actually used makes for an audio on shortwave and medium wave that is not that clear so it kind of makes a little shortwave radio listening a little more difficult than it should because of a bad audio setting in the DSP so I guess it's a nice little introduction here because knowing that DSP chips are not available for $20 radios I can imagine what future radios, you know, $100, $200 radios that use DSP might be really, really hot items if it's well chosen and well used and a little programmable on your side. You know, having a few buttons to change the settings, uh, it's a kind of a good idea on a DSP unit. Overall, it's 20 bucks radio. Um, if you don't have 20 bucks to throw out, and want to have a radio. Um, I personally go more to the analog side on the Texan R9012, but this receiver is kind of cool. I mean, it brings in the stations you want to hear. Of course, it's not a DX machine. Forget about DXing with this, and forget about putting an outdoor antenna also. It overloads. A uh, little drawback also on the DJ DE321 is the intrusion of FM, strong FM signals. Here in a big city like Montreal where we have lots of powerful FM stations, uh, FM signals tend to break through the shortwave bands here and there. So sometimes if you're trying to listen to a signal, you get this interference from an FM signal on the band that will prevent you from listening uh, to your radio station. So, But if you're in a rural area, uh, this shouldn't be a problem because FM signals tend to be much weaker. So this was a review of the Degen DE321. I give it a score of 6 out of 10. Uh, 6 because it brings in the stations and does what it should do uh, but it needs improvement and of course those kinds of improvement are often more with better a better receiver, better electronics, meaning higher price tag. So you gotta keep it in mind for 20 bucks. It's still an amazing little radio. So if you enjoyed these look backs at uh, reviews at uh, radios and all sorts of radio related video, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed of all the videos we put online. And if you have any comments or questions, don't hesitate to ask. It's always fun to have feedback from everyone. So 73s.